everyone. Welcome to Scratch Coding Ninja. Hey guys, so, um, he hello everyone. So today's lesson is going to be about making a little Alexa. So this brought, so here we're going to be going more deeper into machine learning. If you haven't watched that video, please watch it. I'll, I'll upload a card up there. So, yeah. The first thing you want to do is you want to go to machine learning for kids. And, uh, it should show here, um, machine learning for kids.co.uk. Click on it. So that, yeah, here we are. So let's just get started. Um, I'm just gonna, you can sign in, uh, yeah, you can sign in, but I'll just try without registering. So, the first thing you want to do here is you want to first start a new project. I know, um, here, without an account, you can't do that much, so, yeah, but we're doing tech, so that should be a problem. So, let's just call it, um, mini uh, mini alexa recognizing it's going to be text what did I say wrong here alexa all right so we are in our project with mini alexa recognizing text so train. So what do you want to um for the computer to recognize? Well, it what are we gonna do is that our mini Alexa is going to show us a bunch of rooms like um let's say the living room, the bedroom, and uh, the kitchen or something. Let's say or maybe the bathroom. So what you wanna do is we we wanna have our labels. It's gonna be um, first, let's do um, living room, living room, kitchen, what happened, uh, kitchen, and last of all, it's going to be bathroom, bathroom, actually, let's maybe add a bedroom. All right, so here we have, we have four of these things. I uh, know it's a bit cramped up, but sure. Um, so what you wanna do is you wanna add a few examples of things that are related to the living room. Well, I can already name, let's say, a television, television, television. Another thing related to the television uh, is the remote, the sofa, or maybe sometimes people can have a couch, 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 um, maybe um, the dining table, dining table um so yeah so um um i will um n uh, label um the rest of them just like how i did here and i will meet you up after all right so as you can see um i made it um the rest um um 13 to 15 um, labels for each I mean examples for each label now hopefully this should be enough like I said more the better so now uh, we get out of train and we learn and test what we want to do is you want to click on this train new machine model here if you don't have make an account it you will usually say that you, you need um 
you need um five minimum but sometimes it might say ten so here and now we what you're gonna want to do is just just uh wait for this to say available um All right, so as you can see here, it shows available. The model will be automatically deleted after around um, three or four hours. So here, so um, yeah, here we have it. We can, and also we can do a bit of preview here. So um, let's say we have um, okay, uh, headphone set. That I'm not sure. Yeah, so it's it belongs in the living room. Well, it may be in the bedroom and charging. I mean, yeah, uh, it's a multi place, but sure. And we never added that. And let's think of another thing. Um. Um. Yeah, maybe a pen or pencil. Pen. Well, yeah, it might be in a bedroom. We might have a cup, and uh, we'll have a lot of pen in there. Um, and yeah. So now we are, um, yeah, we are pretty much guaranteed that it will work. We're not guaranteed, but we're pretty sure. So yeah, we go to um, make the make section. We could choose whatever we want. Um, scratch, scratch three. We're gonna use scratch three like always. Open in scratch three. So here we have we have default scratch except that we have underneath the images. I mean, I'm not sure if images is supposed to be there, but underneath that we have machine learning. Yeah, which is right here. Just right here. So, this is pretty simple, but what you're gonna wanna do is you wanna click on green flags, click. Ask. Um. Do you have. Have something? Some something. Uh, do you have a? Uh, all right. Um, are you having some trouble with finding something? Yeah. What is it? Uh, question mark. Now, now what, 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 so, um, so now what we're gonna do is, um, alright, so I just, um, thought of this idea, maybe we can, um, do, um, text to speech like, again, I've made a lesson about it, please check it out, so, so now what we're gonna do is that we're gonna add a few if statements. So, what we want to do is we want to go to operators, and we want to have to pick the equal sign. Alright, now we want to go back down to machine learning, and one of the sides you want to add, recognize text um, as answer, um, recognize the answer as whatever label kitchen then uh yeah um you can you will you can find it in the speak you can find it in the kitchen so yeah that's basically what you need to do now let's just duplicate this block four times since we have four places 
All right, so if recognize the answer as living room, let's say, oh, what, what was I doing? Uh, if, okay, living room, then you then say you can find it in the living room. Living room. Okay, now we do bathroom, let's say. You can find it in the bathroom. Um, and finally, bedroom. You can find it in the bedroom. Okay, and the reason, because normally in Scratch we would put a forever loop out in it, but the reason we're not putting it this time is because we only need to do this command once. If, I mean, if we do the forever loop, then uh, this, this, it will forever be speaking. You can find it in the living room, you can find it in the living room, and that will be a bit annoying. So we are not putting a forever loop. Now, yeah, that's basically the command. Let's see how it goes. Are you having... Alright, so now let's try testing our Alexa. So, are you having trouble with finding something? What is it? Well, I'm having trouble with finding an apple. You can find it in the kitchen. Yeah, so it's right. Um, I'm having trouble finding, um, hand moisturizer, maybe. Moisturizer. I'm sure I spelled it correctly. You can find it in the kitchen. Yeah, so the reason, um... Um, the computer got confused is because we had we didn't um, give enough examples for the each label. So if if we would if we would have added more, like maybe twenty or something, then I I believe that this wouldn't get confused and say that boxes would probably be in the bedroom. And uh, now let's say phone. You can find it in the living room. Yeah, um, what about, let's say a deck of cards. A deck of cards. Cards. You can find it in the kitchen. Yeah, again, that's another confusion. Uh, now let's try, what about clothes? Loads. You can find it in the bedroom. Yes, that's correct. So, yeah, so, so everyone, so this is a easy task, I believe. So hopefully you can make these Alexas. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comment section below. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so that you can get notified when I upload my next video.